Hey kids, welcome to lesson 11, while loops number 10, Boolean operators in while loops. We can create compound Boolean expressions to control our while loops just like our if statements. Let's try using Boolean operators in our while loop condition. We have a do this. Right now, this code rolls two dice as long as either one of them is less than three. Modify the condition so that it keeps rolling as long as both are less than three. Hint, to say that both dice are less than three, the Boolean expression must say, if die one less than three and die two less than three. That is a pretty big hint there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code here. We have variable die one, and this one right here is set to negative one, and die two is set to negative one as well. Why? Well, we want to get into the loop before we get any conditions met. So we don't want every time to, for the first number to be one if we set our variable to one. All this is doing is ensuring we get two random numbers at least once before we exit our while statement. Our while statement says if die one is less than three or die two is less than three, you are going to keep rolling. If one of these is greater than three, you're going to stop and write done. Very interesting. Let's try this out and see what happens. A three and a six, so one is greater than. Another three and a six. This time, notice the first two times we rolled, they were both under three, so we kept rolling. And once we rolled two sixes, then we came out of our loop and wrote done. Well, how do we put this so both of them have to be above three? Well, looking at our code, right now our while says only one of these two conditions has to be met in order to get out. And statements mean both conditions have to be met in order to exit the loop. In this instance, both die one and die two have to be greater than three in order to write done. Let's test this out. Reset run, die six and six, we're done. One and six, we're done. Six and four, and we exit the loop. And three and six again. Why is this one picking three? Well, we did greater than three and not greater than equal to. So this is why it stopped there. I think that's all we had to do for this one. We change the if statement to an and statement. And right now it keeps rolling until both are less than three. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's go ahead and hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.